Don't attack my feet. Stop them. Stop them from attacking me. You guys stop them. Hi, this is Neil Song Dynasty. Please like, share, and subscribe. Buy some silver and some platinum. You won't regret it. And always be kind, helpful, and grateful. Because it's better than being a jerk. Uh, Got to do a little narration ahead of time to, to bring you up to speed in case anyone forgot. Uh, Soros is was very is very very hated or not hated but very 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 disliked by Trump because of his anti-American stance and why he's where he's throwing all this money so this report and I said Soros and I said Trump but it's about why the platinum price is falling Soros funded the a lot of funds went from his place, his his pocketbook to the Democratic Party that caused us to be where we're at right now. Let me say that. Where he gets the majority of his money is apparently from South Africa, or the platinum mines, for which he apparently has a big, big stake in. I've said this before in other videos of mine. It costs $1,200 to mine platinum. You can buy it for 940 Someone's losing a lot of money. That man is losing a lot of money. Someone in the last administration said that they were going to dismantle the corruption funding, the corrupt part of the other party, other than the last administration's party. That man funds the radical side of the other party from of the last administration and is probably funding all the stuff happening right now to the past administration during this administration. But that's not what this is about. This is about the platinum price. This is about geopolitics. And this is why platinum is low right now, historically low through manipulation. We are trying. Yeah, I got a visitor here. We're trying to get rid of the funding for the radical left here in this country that is trying to destroy our way of life. So now we go back to this story. Let me get the volume up here says in platinum and we'll take a look at the charts as well um is that it is the green energy uh and fuel cells uh are going to be utilizing uh, and needing platinum and platinum should in fact actually be included in the likes of cobalt lithium and copper in terms of being the green metals and the concern there is 73 percent let's just say this again 73 percent of all platinum comes from you guessed it where this gentleman resides where i'm sitting right now uh south africa the country and in case you think well maybe the other 27 percent will bring it in the other 27 percent is 10 percent in russia eight percent in zimbabwe so okay uh first off you have to conclude include that eight percent in zimbabwe uh, to South Africa because it's Impala Mines, a South African platinum miner owns the rights to the Zimbabwe mines. So South Africa is getting all the money from that. So they actually have 81% or yeah, 81%, no, 86%, something like that of platinum mining. So there you go. You've got another 18 of the remaining 23, <laughs> 27, sorry. 27, 18 of the 27. So there's only 9% of global supply that is not South Africa, Russia, or Zimbabwe. And I'm afraid Zimbabwe at 8% uh, does not suddenly scale up and turn into a 33% or a 27% uh, producer. In fact, what he says as well is all qualities as always are going down. New mines are definitely not coming. They're very close to cost at the moment. Their cost per rand ounce is 20,000 rand, he says at the moment, uh, gone up from 17,000. Don't forget, you can't flatline pay miners. They all unionize workers. Um, uh, cost of everything is going up for everybody, including in South Africa. And the concern is the he's saying the rand hasn't depreciated enough. So when you're getting 900 odd dollars for uh, sub a thousand dollars for platinum, you're not getting 20,000 rand because you're at an exchange rate of about 18.77 on the South African rand to the US dollar, all of which we'll take a little look-see. So you're talking about the elephant in the room provider at 73%. 
and the next biggest being 10 and 8, and then rats and mice, the rest of them for 9%, many other countries in the world spread all around. So platinum is truly, truly rare and very concentrated in a country that doesn't do power. <laughs> How's that for a great... And no new mines, all grade is reducing. So all the data that is being produced coming off UN stats under the ground, we all know what we think of the United Nations who formed it, Rockefeller, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and the purposes, are hopelessly optimistic on A, the supply of platinum, and B, uh, its ability to meet the hydro hydrogen needs, and South Africa's ability to produce. So they are currently at about 3,800 to 4,000 odd uh, post-COVID, where people are actually needing 6,000 plus plus uh, ounces, um, or is it tons? God, I've got to get them. I'm going to get the number mixed up, whether it was for the year or the month. I, uh, uh. Anyway, they're at about 60, 70% 60, of what people expected them to be. And the load shedding is going to get worse. It's going to become a niche provider. Here's what I think happens with ESCOM. It becomes a niche provider. Many other alternatives exist. Or it is run completely into the ground and is phoenixed and privately sold uh, away from state assets. So that citizens lose their power company, which they effectively part own because of bad management. Crush it, ruin it, destroy it. It gets phoenixed back up. Uh, with triple the prices to some private hedge fund type, which is invariably Zionist. Anyhow, you get the point. Basically, power problems and everything happening in South Africa is uh, because we're trying to crush South Africa economically. And I've said this before. You overlay a chart of the 100-year gold chart, 100-year platinum chart, and, and overlay them. And whatever year you see where they correlate for the first time where gold out prices platinum whatever year that is look at it i could almost guarantee you around that time is when the economic war started on uh, on south africa because south africa joined BRICS that year and that's why platinum is so low it is an economic geopolitical war against south africa more specifically the the r's or the s's that are down there that are running it that used to take all their profit margin and fund anti-American stuff here in America. Now they can't because they don't have their puppy dog. They don't have their bank account. They are losing money and fixing to go bankrupt. I've stated this before. Impala Mines has already asked for voluntary layoffs. Next move is they're going to start laying people off. After that, they go bankruptcy and out of business. That means that the, the Soro people and the Roth people are going to be losing and are losing lots of money, which means they are losing lots of power, which means they're losing lots of control, which means geopolitics is the play. There is no longer a monopoly control on everything by a few people because the few people are losing their money. And that's why we're having all these coups and all these issues right now because the few that had control are losing control. Just to let you know, what that means is when that geopolitical stuff stops, on the attack on South Africa, platinum will skyrocket to well over twice the price of gold unless gold is revalued, unfairly revalued, uncharted revalued. If that is the only case where gold will stay above platinum, other than that, within the next year or two, South Africa is going to be bankrupt. Uh, all their platinum mines are going to be bankrupt. All the people that are funding the anti-American hate groups are going to be bankrupt. And we will start to go back to normal after we feel the pain of losing all their money control over our economic system. I hope this makes it a little more clear for you guys on why platinum is such a low price right now and why it will not stay low for long. Have a good day. Remember, be kind, helpful, and grateful.